It's David Wowie. How you doing? Another Eden. This epic JRPG that has been a key part of many people's lives is turning seven, baby. That's almost a decade. Yet even at this age, the game keeps on innovating and it keeps on going. To celebrate, we're getting new characters, over 7,000 free Chronostones, a free five star character and more keep watching it only gets better don't forget to like and subscribe and if you want to support this humble channel and get some perks like exclusive vids become a super member the stream started with a bit of nostalgia it started with a pretty cool anime style sequence and a series of flashbacks dedicated to another eden's hardcore fans i'll be sharing a version of this on my x channel at jrpg wow so follow me there after sharing some pretty amazing entrants from the Another Eden art contest that are definitely worth checking out, Scott, Another Eden's community manager, then rolled out this cute little animated clip bringing us through every major chapter, episode and ensemble in Another Eden, causing some people in the chat to tear up and cry like babies. But I wouldn't know what that means because I've never cried in my life. I was born laughing. Then it was announced for the 7th anniversary we're getting a brand new episode called A Paradise of Imperfections. It'll be set in the future time layer and is a sequel to the closed off open world and the Azure Rebel episode. With this new episode they're bringing back a bunch of characters. From the trailer I see Melissa who I'm super excited to see again. Biaka, Kikyo, Oboro, Liabak, Aldo riding one of those black things and of course Helena and Galliard who are finally getting an upgrade and then we're getting a brand new character, Sienhua. Galliard's new 5 star Stellar Awakened character looks like he's going to be an earth piercing unit who inflicts rage and does an end of turn attack. Look at his face man, look at how annoyed he looks with having to deal with us peasants. Galliard's synth human waifu Helena is also an earth unit who's getting some stellar awakening love. It looks like she'll be able to deploy torn earth stance and deal earth magic attacks on enemies that increase in strength the more debuffs the enemy has. Next we have the new anniversary character Xianhua, a genius scientist from XMS who allegedly vanished a decade ago and is a gambling addict? Maybe she plays gacha games in her spare time or maybe she goes to Macau. The team at Another Eden was so passionate about the design of Xianhua that the creators apparently had many heated discussions on something as simple as the design of her hips. And you know what? I like it. Look at those hips, man. Xianhua is a non-type magic user who sets magic fate stance, debuffs enemies, buffs her team and does insane damage that ignores enemy defenses. She looks like she'll be particularly great with a magic team. There are more characters coming so keep watching and subscribe for more info on the specific skill sets of these characters. This new episode will of course include new areas and a brand new bike chase mini game where you can control Galliard. Once you have finished the chapter you unlock additional content and the ability to customize your bike and play it as a form of time trial mini game. I'd love to know what your scores are. Maybe we can do a leaderboard on my discord. That's right we now have a discord server so come join it and hang out with a bunch of fellow gamers. The link is in my description. And like with every new update we get a new soundtrack. One of the songs Glory Road apparently was supposed to be very manly so have a look out or listen out for a manly song while playing the game. Scott then announced someone a lot of longtime fans of Another Eden have been waiting for and that's Annabelle Extra Style. Annabelle Normal Style used to be my favorite tank in the game so I'm super pumped about this. Now she's getting a long awaited glow up and what an interesting character she'll be. At battle start, Annabelle Extra Style will inflict a strong piercing attack on all enemies that's a guaranteed critical hit that removes all buffs and then she'll turn into a tank or a crazy damage dealing paladin depending if you have more guiding light or more luring shadow teammates. Unlike Annabelle's normal style who is a water element, Annabelle Extra Style will be a fire element unit but who cares about any of that she's riding a pink unicorn with small legs and a pink horn it's a my little pony collab on top of annabelle es there's another character getting an upgrade and we're getting a bunch of free chronostones but first let's check out the banners we're getting from the new update all up to 12th of may we're getting a paid banner with xianhua and annabelle where you get them at a 10 percent drop rate there will be another paid banner where there's a 10% drop rate of just Xinhua 
or one with just Annabelle ES. And of course, there will be the free versions of these banners, which will probably have depressingly low encounter rates. And we're getting another paid banner, which is a Star Dream Encounter, where you can get any five star character you want. And unlike previous Star Dream Encounters, which can only let you choose characters from up to three months ago, you can now get any new character you want, including Xian Hua. Then there will be another paid banner called the Guiding Star Encounter, where you can pick one of 10 Stellar Awakened characters and get their Stellar Awakened version. Now let's look at all the free Chronostones. We get up to 7,000 of them with this update alone. You get 1,000 stones just by logging in between the dates on this image, UTC. Then you get 1,000 Chronostones for finishing closed off open world and Azul level. Then another 1,000 Chronostones for a paradise of imperfection. If you've already finished closed off open world, I think they send you 1,000 Chronostones automatically. Someone correct me if I'm wrong. Just make sure to finish both of these by 12th of May to get the rewards. Between 11th of April and 21st of May, you just need to log in every day and get an extra 100 Chronostones per day, totaling 4,000 Chronostones, baby. On top of that, you can do a survey which will be sent via in-game notice that will give you 100 Chronostones for completion. And just to sweeten the deal, right, due to the social media reactions on these streams, we're all getting 500 Chronos Stones. Do you feel rich yet? So that is everything coming on the 7th anniversary update, which releases on the 12th of April. But before the game ended, Scott dropped some other big news, including a batch difficulty setting, increased XP gained in phase shifts, an improved equipment screen where you can set equipment on a single screen as well as set favorites, receive items from NPCs in a batch. Can someone explain to me what receiving items from NPCs means? And finally, two new characters who will be coming sometime in the future. CL Alter, who's now a streamer, Yakumo Nella Style, and Yifa's sweetheart, none other than Bertrand. But there's more! We get a free 5-star character via a Whispers of Time drop. We're starting from today, we get a free single pull every day for 10 days, and on the 10th day, we get a 5-star! If this was helpful, like and subscribe, and if you want some sweet perks, like some exclusive vids, while also supporting this channel, become a super member.